Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Simon Cox with Swiftsure Yachts and I am in Oak Bay on a beautiful sunny day here with a 1998 Pacific Seacraft 37. Let me just uh, flip the camera. So this is our newest listing. I'll take you through the boat. Um, well, let's just see what we see as we go. Um, so starting off here at the bow, there's a uh, 44 pound Rockna. That'll help you sleep well at night. Hello puppy. Hey buddy. Dog not included. Um, the, uh, the Zodiac here on the dock is, it comes with the boat as well as a little eight horse uh, outboard that you'll see on the stern. Um, okay, so it's a cutter rig. Single spreader, aluminum mast, uh, radome right up there. Uh, the sails are new in 2010. Life raft on deck is a 2015, but it does need recertification. Overall, the, the boat is in excellent condition. The bright work looks like it needs a little bit of love, just a, a nice sanding. There's some old varnish on there. Um, the decks may be a polish, but um, it's a good uh, clean boat with a recent survey to review if you wish. Oh yeah, so check it out on the front of the mast. There's a whisker pole mounted to an adjustable track. So the boat also comes with a asymmetrical spinnaker and a uh, storm sail as well. That's The storm sail has never been used. Um, and the stow pack, I like this system for the main sail as well. And it's a full batten main under there as well. So just back to the Dodger, nice clean lenses on the, on the Dodger. Cockpit cushions are a nice touch as well. Large Harkin 44s winches there on the primaries. And then there's a set of three uh, Harkin 16s on the coach roof for your main sheet, your uh, staysail sheets, and your halyards. All right, let's climb aboard. Oh, I'll get it. We'll show the stern. So this is. Your Cree lock design, double ender or canoe stern. And at 16,000 pounds, she, she brings some weight, but she, I, I just took her out for a little spin just to get some photos and uh, she responds and, and parks and docks really nicely. So just, um, Starting with a stern locker back here. This is your propane locker and a little bit of extra storage. And then there's a stern boarding ladder here. So your outboard has the davit on it, make it easy to get it up and off the, uh, the dinghy. Uh, there's a propane barbecue under the cover here. And looks like a little manual Scotty uh, downrigger. Give you a better shot of the cockpit and the instrument display so probably about 20 newer um, electronics not super old uh, it looks like about a 2010 to 2015 um, generation on the Raymarine plotter with uh, autopilot and depth wind and speed and just a shot of the uh, stow pack with the lazy jacks and then back up to the rig let's get down below here so oh yeah just else to point out um, cockpit sole that can be removed for access to the top end of the engine and an engine panel and display here which is easily visible from from the helm. I'll try and steady the camera for you here and have a little look around. So V berth forward, double cabin with the head up forward of the bulkhead. 
And you know what? I'm just going to go. There we go. That's better. Okay. We'll have another look around in the in the salon. All right. I'll hit the hit the galley on the way out. Let's go check out the Ford cabin while we're up here. So on on the starboard side, going forward through the bulkhead, is the uh, the single head that's on the boat. It's an it's a wet head, so integrated shower. The uh, the faucet from the sink acts as a as a retractable shower wand. Nice and bright, little door right overhead for ventilation. Forward, a little sitting bench, and then Pullman style double berth to starboard. And it is quite bright and airy up here with good ventilation, big hatch overhead, and reading lights. This is also a, a custom mattress uh, from 2019, so very comfortable sleeping up here. Um, you'll you'll notice throughout the video that there's these vents located in, in strategic locations. That's your your air conditioning, and there's also a built-in diesel heater, and then double hanging locker up uh, here on the port side. So moving back to the main salon, the uh, folding table reaches out to both settees for a large dining service surface. And then the filler cushion right here completes this surface into a double a double berth. The storage throughout is very well thought out. You know the the woodwork and the interior is far beyond what you get on most boats these days. It truly is a nice quality build. Forward facing nav station, there's still plenty of uh, virgin real estate on the, uh, on the panel there. Um, nice little feature of, the, of this tabletop is this little kick down leg. And now you have a, a, a level counter space for additional workspace you know, across from the galley. Smart idea there. There is a 50 horsepower Yanmar tucked away in that engine box uh, with about just over 1700 hours. Uh, so this is a 1998, so that's uh, well below average on the hour meter. And then into the galley we have Force 10 two burner stove with oven. That's propane, of course. Um, hot, cold, pressure, uh, fresh water, and then a foot pump. Which, uh, I believe is the salt is salt water, and then there's a, I believe a sink drain as well. And then a little garbage chute. And fridge space with. Um, with a little freezer compartment. And then a quarter berth, which like most boats has become a little bit of the, uh, the garage, but uh, that's full seven feet long, makes for a comfortable single berth. And who wouldn't want to have some uh, Happy hour out on the out on this cockpit. Well, guys, thanks for, again for joining me for a tour of Summer Breeze, a 1998 uh, Pacific Seacraft 37 Cree Lock design. Um, this boat is now officially available for sale uh, here in Oak Bay, BC. Leave a comment, um, ask any questions. We'll be happy to help with you, help help you, happy to work with you, um, and. Uh, let me know how uh, things, other things you'd like to see on these videos, and we'll try and keep, keep them coming. Have a great day out there. Take care. Bye for now.